Okay. Um, so welcome everyone. My name is Leanna Davis. I am the chair of the Wikipedia and Education User Group, um, and I uh, work with Wiki Education in who runs the education program in the United States and Canada. Um, and I'm excited to have those of you who are joining us here live, as well as anyone who uh, watches the video afterwards. We always post these, we record these open meetings and post them on our YouTube channel. Um, and so if you haven't uh, checked it out yet, you can search for the Wikipedia and Education User Group on YouTube and, uh, and, and see the past videos of, of opportunities. So uh, we have these open meetings periodically, um, every few months. <laughs> Is, is about uh, how often they, they come. And we try to feature uh, two different guest speakers to um, discuss what is going on um, in each of the programs that they're representing. Um, and uh, today we have Naboja from Serbia and we also have um, Anthony from the Philippines and it is the middle of the night for him and so I actually have a video recording that I will play for him. He pre-recorded his talk um, so that he didn't have to, to join us at 1am, although he said he might pop in and, um, and answer some questions if he's still awake, so um, we'll, we'll see about that. Um, but we start every meeting uh, with introductions um, and so uh, I will go ahead and let me take a look at the participants and see who is uh, next on my list. Um, is it Agus? Did I say that right? Yeah. All right. Can you Hello. share who you are and where you're from? Oh, hello, my name is Agus Patamanamanik. I come from Indonesia, physically in Medan. I'm, I'm an education community specialist for ESF, is, is Southeast Asian and Pacific. I'm, I'm come here just to join and want to know what's going on on these events. And I'm, I'm kind of interested with what was the Philippine representative gonna tell, because it was connected to what, why my job, that's all. Great. Welcome, we're, we're glad to have you here and I appreciate you coming even though it is the middle of the night for you, I believe too. <laughs> okay, um, next up, is it Eben? Hello everyone. Thanks, Liana. So my name is Eben and I come from Arusha, Tanzania and I'm a newly certified um, uh, reading Wikipedia in the classroom program trainer. And I've joined um, to learn more about um, um, ed education projects, which I, I could run um, in my community. And I'm glad to be here. Welcome. I um, had a great trip when I visited Tanzania. It's a wonderful country. So I'm glad to, glad to have you a part of our community. Um, Philip. Yes, hi everyone. <clears throat> I'm Philip from Wikimedia Serbia, also a member of the board of the user group um, that's hosting this event. Um, a long time Wikipedian and a Wikimedian, and yeah, that's quite enough. <laughs> All right, thank you, Frank. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Frank Schulenburg. I'm originally from Germany. I moved to the United States in 2008 when the Wikimedia Foundation hired me. And since 2014, I've been the executive director of Wiki Education. And I'm actually pretty active both on Wikipedia, on the German Wikipedia still, and on Wikimedia Commons. Thanks, Frank. Joao. Hi everyone, this is Joel speaking from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I currently serve as the membership administrator of the Wikipedia and Education User Group. I'm also affiliated to the uh, Wikimedia, Wiki Movimento Brasil, the Wikimedia affiliate from Brazil, and a long time contributor in, to Wikipedia and Education programs myself. Thank you, Joel. Bosha. 
I, uh, I am Nevoj Šratković, I am Education Program Manager of Wikimedia Serbia. Um, I'm from Belgrade, I'm based here, and um, yeah, I have been working for Wikimedia Serbia um, for five years and a half already, so yeah. Thank you for having me here. Welcome, and he's also one of our guest speakers today. Um, I am so sorry I cannot uh, read a Cyrillic, so you'll have to you'll have to jump in and share what your name is. My name is Yuri. It's easy to learn, like Yuri Gagarin. Uh, I'm from Ukraine. Uh, uh, Thirteen years ago, I have founded uh, Wikimedia Ukraine. Uh, you all, everyone knows that we are now in a war. So it's uh, not uh, the most actual topic for us, uh, education, but nevertheless. Um, I, am, uh, I also uh, teach students uh, in university, uh, media law and uh, media security. And also I'm very active uh, Wikipedia editor. I, I have created more than several thousand uh, articles, uh, et, et cetera, et cetera. Former member of Fund Dissemination Committee in Wikimedia Foundation. Welcome, Yuri, and I hope you uh, continue to stay safe. I know things are, are very challenging in Ukraine right now, and um, uh, but but media and media law is a very important topic uh, for for all of us, but I imagine um, in your country particularly right now. Thank you for joining us, um, Arif. Or not. Okay. Um, well, let's get started then. And if anyone else joins us um, in the middle of the meeting, they can do quick introductions. Um, so I wanted to start by giving a little bit of an update from the user group and things that we have going on. Um, the major initiative that we have been working on over the last year is our mentorship pilot, where um, we had, I think, 18 people who signed up. Um, who are interested in either being a mentor or a mentee. Um, and we paired people up. Philip did a great job of connecting people um, based on their interests. And we encouraged people to, um, to meet as often as they were interested in meeting over the last year or the last six months. And then um, the, the mentorship pilot officially wrapped up at the end of December, although I think several mentor pairs are continuing to meet um, into, into this year as well. Um, and so we have distributed a survey to all of the people who participated in the mentorship pilot, and we're asking for uh, survey responses to be uh, finished by today. So hopefully, um, if anyone was part of that and hasn't submitted your survey response yet, this is a good opportunity to do so. Um, and based on the results from that survey, we're going to uh, figure out what we want to do in terms of an additional uh, next phase of the mentorship program and, um, and kind of what, what we might do. But uh, the initial results from the survey are showing that people were definitely enthusiastic and happy about um, the mentorship work and are eager to um, continue serving as a mentor or a mentee. Um, and so the, our guest speakers today both participated, they were a mentorship pair, and so um, we're, we're interested in hearing uh, their experiences as well. Um, that's kind of it for the major user group updates. Um, we continue to keep the EduWiki conference that we had planned for 2020 um, on hold until the public health situation becomes safer and when we can all gather again for international gatherings. Uh, we look forward to restarting our planning around uh, that conference, but um, there is no update on that at this time um, while we wait for the public health situation globally to, uh, to get better. Um, before I go in any questions about the user group uh, work, before I uh, move on to the next topic. Hearing none, um, for those of you who have, um, if you are not a member of our user group, I also will encourage you to, uh, to sign up and become a member as well. Um, and 
So next up, um, I want to ask Frank to speak briefly. Um, and so Frank is, uh, is in the research phase of um, looking at what a global education hub might look like in the broader uh, Wikimedia movement strategy discussions right now. Um, so I'll give an opportunity to Frank to, to jump in here and share his, um, his work for a couple of minutes before we move into our guest speakers, which is the main point of the meeting. Frank? Yeah, and thanks for uh, for having me here, and thanks for the opportunity um, to talk about a potential uh, a global education hub. Um, so, uh, as Liana said, we're currently um, looking into whether a global education hub might make sense. As you know, uh, Wiki Education is already providing some services to the global community by running the programs and events dashboard. And we're just curious to hear from you and from others in the education space, um, whether you think a, a hub, uh, creating a hub would make sense, uh, what the needs are that a hub could fulfill. And, um, and that is kind of where we currently are. So um, I'm looking for, for feedback from you and from others. So uh, one of the ways I'm, I'm thinking if someone who's here in the room currently would like to have some thoughts on a global education hub, on what that could be, what kind of your context specific needs are, maybe you can use the chat function here uh, for, uh, for this uh, meeting here, for this Zoom meeting and just post your email address and then I would get in touch with you within the next couple of days and set up uh, another short meeting where I would um, collect your feedback. Um, and if you know other people who I should talk to, uh, who might have an opinion, who might have input, then uh, please let me know. Um, I'm gonna post my email address also into the chat window. If you wanna get in touch, um, I would also be open to like besides the individual interviews that I'm currently conducting, uh, I would also be open to having a group session or something if you want to uh, like um, not talk to me individually, but you want to bring someone else, um, we, we can do all kinds of formats. The most important thing is to see whether this uh, resonates with you, whether there are any things that a global education hub would do that are currently a need that you have. So that is kind of uh, where this is going in general. And that's kind of my my closing statement here. In general, we're kind of we're not necessarily pushing for this. We're looking into this. So this is a real exploration. We don't have an agenda here. Uh, we just wanted to see whether there are any additional services that uh, a hub could provide that you need and um, so it's a really open open process and if this doesn't happen then uh, if we see there's no need that would also be okay as a result um, so I'm now going to post my email address if you want to talk to me if you have some ideas on whether a global education hub makes sense or not please also post your uh, email address in the chat and then I'm going to get in touch with you thank you Frank, do you want to share that out loud as well for people watching the recording later? Um, oh, oh, absolutely. So my email address is frank uh, at wikiedu.org. Um, wikiedu.org and then frank at wikiedu.org. Thank you. Okay, thanks. So yeah, I think, you know, we're definitely interested in ensuring that the global community of education program leaders can continue being supported. Um, that's something that um, all of us at the user group care uh, deeply about. And so figuring out what is sort of the best path for that forward is, um, is important. So um, certainly feel free to uh, reach out directly to Frank or um, put your email address in the chat and uh, Frank will reach out to you. Um, and I can, Liana, because Joao asked, uh, can you please share what is your investigation practically focusing on? Is there a meta page for this research? 
Um, Joao, that's a very good question. I have a questionnaire that I will put on the Meta page uh, later today. Currently, there's not much information on Meta because we're in a very early phase, but uh, we want to be as transparent about this as we can be. So I will post all the questions that I asked during those interviews. I will post that on Meta and make sure that uh, maybe I can pass the link then on to Liana so she can share it within this group. Okay. I hope this answers your question. Okay, cool. All right. And uh, welcome. It looks like several people have joined uh, the call in uh, since we did introduction. So um, I will just say a broad welcome to all of you. And um, if you want to share in, in the chat um, who you are and where you're from, um, that's great. But I will uh, turn it over now to our first guest speaker, um, Naboja from Serbia. Please uh, feel free to, uh, to speak to your experiences, both um, in the education program in Serbia, as well as in the mentorship partnership you did. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I prepared um, uh, presentations, so uh, I'll be free to uh, share it with you in just a second. Oh, you can see it? Yes. Okay, so um, once again, I'm uh, Nebo Sharatkovic, Education Program Manager from Wikimedia Serbia. Uh, and I would really like to thank you for the invitation, this opportunity to uh, speak to all of you. Um, at the beginning, uh, I'll um, talk a little bit about the local context of Wikipedia education program in Serbia. Um, the program is designed for all educational and scientific institutions in the country, such as schools, faculties, uh, institutes, and its aim is to um, spread free and accessible knowledge, as well as to raise awareness uh, of its importance. The basic uh, vision of the program is to um, make Wikipedia more popular and its sister project as well, and to enrich them uh, with the new content in an academic environment. Um, the Wikipedia education program consists of different projects here in Serbia, um, and um, uh, those uh, projects are actually adapted to different target groups, such as teachers, high school, um, and university students. Um, those projects are implemented through many different workshops, training, training seminars, uh, editathons, etc. Um, the program was started uh, for the first time uh, in 2005 at the Faculty of Mathematics, University of Belgrade. So last year, um, we celebrated uh, 16 years, uh, if I'm not wrong, of its successful implementation. Um, in 2006, Wikimedia Serbia was contacted uh, by professor from the Faculty of Physical Chemistry and after two workshops uh, with students, uh, first articles finally started appearing on Wikipedia. Um, additionally, professional uh, connections of uh, Mr. Stakic, who actually ha uh, had an open um, lecture about Wikipedia at the Faculty of Mathematics University of Belgrade for the first time, uh, made it possible to start a project at the Faculty of Philology as well. Um, at the first partnerships included uh, our uh, universities, but in 2011, the first cooperation, the high school was started. And uh, one of the uh, major milestones in the development of the education program happened um, in 2012, uh, when the academic board of Wikimedia Serbia was formed. Um, the board uh, uh, um, was tasked with the development uh, of the program, uh, and the body was quite active in setting up some new cooperations with educational institutions. Um, also, Serbian uh, Wikipedia community created a policy uh, revolving around contributions by students, and that was a really important step uh, in development of uh, the education program. Today, we implement a program driven by the necessity of changing um, the educational system in uh, many means. Uh, we motivate the educational institutions to adapt um, uh, educational methods to the demands of the modern society 
uh, and the results of these efforts are that we are present, pre present in more than uh, 50 institutions across the country and that our workshops are attended by uh, around uh, 1,000 participants annually. Um, in the international context, efforts by volunteers and Wikipedians, Serbia in the education sector began several months prior uh, when Wikipedia co-founder Jim uh, Wales visited Belgrade. And uh, in, here in Belgrade, uh, he held a lecture at the Faculty of Philosophy, University of Belgrade. Uh, that visit encouraged the line of thinking that uh, um, implied potential uh, in uh, cooperation, in cooperating with uh, academic institutions. Um, in 2014, uh, Wikimedia Serbia organized an international Wiki conference um, that was a meeting with a focus on education within the Wikimedia world, and the event was really important for us at that time. Uh, after that, we were uh, presented a large number of uh, Wiki conferences uh, where we had the opportunity to present our um, educational program. Um, a big step forward uh, has been made when we got the accreditation for our teachers uh, professional development program uh, after the authors of the book on uh, informatics for the second grade of um, high school included Wikipedia as a special last lesson we applied at the Institute for the uh, Improvement of Education founded by the Ministry of Education and our application included a course on Wikipedia and the uh, Institute uh, included that course in the uh, catalog uh, of uh, of the programs for continuous professional development of teachers, professors, and other schools. Um, this accreditation lasted for two years and the course started in December of uh, 2014. And the main goals of the course are to improve um, the competencies of uh, employees in education for the application of new and open learning platform based on wiki tools. Uh, but also to improve the quality um, of the teaching and educational uh, processes. Um, I would just like to mention that the seminar uh, lasts eight hours, uh, it carries eight points uh, and uh, is free of charge for all participants. It is designed to consist of theoretical and practical parts, uh, and it is created for teachers of general education, vocational subjects in high schools and secondary vocational schools as well. Um, but also for the for for for, for the teachers of um, upper grades of primary schools, um, the the uh, Wiki ambassadors are a very really important uh, project for Wikimedia Serbia. They were introduced as a means uh, to, um, to let's let's say to have like a, a more sustain sustainability of the program. Um, Wiki ambassadors are actually students, uh, representatives of Wikimedia Serbia uh, at the faculties they study. Um, they are an important factor in the realization of our activities because they represent our support and assistance in cooperation with students. They collaborate, manage workshops, and check articles written by students. And um, we uh, constantly uh, want to increase the number of Wiki ambassadors just to maintain the dynamics of their work and to occasionally reward them uh, for their performance. Um, another milestone was the creation of the education program manager position in um, seven years before, I think. Uh, that paid position was created as a way to facilitate the workload from volunteers and uh, make all efforts in this program more professional. Uh, even though today I deal with the uh, establishing and maintaining partnerships, uh, I still have the support from uh, volunteers uh, for running workshops, communicating with students and uh, some evaluation work. Um, we also started organizing the EduWiki camp thanks to regional connections. When we saw at one of the conferences uh, that the Georgia uh, has this type of activity, a few years ago, we localized the project to our um, um, conditions, let's say, and we have several successful uh, realizations. Uh, 
that's uh, where we get the new week ambassadors and the project means a lot to our organization this is one of the examples on how you can learn from others which is really important for mentorship program uh, for example um, what Wikimedia Serbia is doing now um, and can be useful to others is that we started organized that Wiki camp online because of uh, COVID and for example we have cooperation um, uh, with a school within which uh, do tutorials for editing Wikipedia um, Another thing I would like to mention is uh, our uh, cooperation that we achieved at the um, last C meeting in Belgrade uh, with the representatives of Glam Macedonia. Uh, we had the idea to realize a joint camp for high school participants in North Macedonia. Uh, we choose the location, the participants, we organized everything, but because of the pandemic, we had to postpone everything. Um, the education program in Serbia in the past several years has been um, uh, has seen stability in its operations. Um, strategically, uh, it has always been among the highest priorities within Wikimedia Serbia, which is demonstrated by the fact that the first staff member for specific programs was the education program manager. The number of institutions uh, that Media Serbia partnered with over the years, as, as well as number of participants is uh, constantly growing. Uh, as we are increasingly present in educational institutions, we realize that, um, uh, that it is, um, let's say, very important to have academic argumentation for our activities. Therefore, uh, one uh, of our prior priorities and uh, it, uh, in the future um, is to publish as many uh, papers as possible in scientific journals to be presented at local and international conferences. Uh, we believe that in the discussions that uh, wait us in the future, only in this way we can achieve a scientific foundation for all our activities and projects. Um, nothing less important are the um, researches uh, that we have realized and plan to realize in the future. One of them is the quality of seminar papers published uh, on Wikimedia by students. Uh, I would especially like to highlight the importance of the um, appearance of Wikipedia from year to year at certain faculties and high schools. Um, it was interesting for me personally, for example, that in December last year, I had the opportunity to hold a workshop for uh, fourth grade students um, at one uh, high school in Belgrade, during which I show them how to edit um, Wikipedia uh, by using um, uh, wiki uh, syntax. Uh, I saw the same group of students uh, in their first year, uh, so four years ago, when I showed them editing uh, in a visual editor. So it was really nice for me to see that progress um, when we talk about um, their skills on Wikipedia. Uh, we certainly had a lot of challenges along the way. Uh, among them are the general attitude of the public about Wikipedia, its use in teaching and the motivation of professors to change that. Uh, technical aspects such as internet uh, connections are sometimes a challenge for us. Um, Although most schools today have the internet, sometimes we are not sure uh, if this will really be the case when we come to school. So the legacy, the system in which we were born and uh, raised in working with people is a difficult a difficulty for some, uh, for me, because um, uh, people are uh, sometimes afraid to ask certain things. And generally, no matter how much material and instructions, guidelines, uh, I prepare sometimes, uh, it is uh, not enough. Um, COVID, uh, like for the whole world, was one of the biggest challenges for us. In the first months of work in, in certain circumstances, um, there was a significant drop uh, um, in interest for our activities, which you can see uh, on the chat. chat. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we were able to uh, respond to the needs of educational institutions, and we managed to uh, uh, reget that interest. And not only did we continue to work with all partners, but we also got new ones by presenting Wikipedia as a unique tool and great opportunity for teaching during um, the online school period. Um, COVID left consequences on our activities in the sense that we did not have the opportunity 
to meet and get new wiki ambassadors, uh, volunteers, which is why one of our priorities at the moment is to increase the number of volunteers in the education uh, program. Um, a little bit about, about our next steps. Um, our goal uh, in the time ahead is to expand the idea as much as possible to institutions uh, with which we have not cooperated so far. Uh, that includes schools, faculties, and other organizations. Uh, in addition, Serbia is a very centralized country. A lot of activities are being uh, realized in, in, in its capital, Belgrade. So it was like uh, that at the beginning of uh, the work with Media Serbia as well. Our financial and human capacities were limited. The change uh, happened when the first person was employed in the position of educational program manager. So the activities then spread to other uh, parts of the country, which gave us more potential to involve uh, more and more different people in our projects. Um, working with teachers on the Wikipedia in Schools project, um, we strive to provide them with support and assistance during the first few years of their involvement in the project. Uh, in parallel, we are working on their independence. We want that after a certain time, they ind independently implement the project that will become an in integral part of their curriculum. Uh, introduction to the curriculum as a goal um, is a goal is a goal um, um, itself. Uh, as I have already mentioned. Thanks to our collaboration and authors of the textbook in informatics, Wikipedia was presented as a special lessons for the subject of informatics in the second grade of high school. Um, mm, there's some um, uh, that also uh, that there are some needs uh, to be more, uh, let's say, uh, developed in the future uh, regarding the Wikipedia in Schools project. Uh, and uh, we have some plans for the future. For example, um, this year we will be working on the wiki books for the first time uh, with one um, primary school. We also um, uh, insist uh, on the introduction of wiki data in a workshop, etc. Uh, in the end, we believe that there is a great value in cooperation with other countries. Uh, we have had several initiatives for cross-border cooperation. COVID has stopped some of uh, us in that, but we believe that there is a great potential for many ideas to be uh, planned uh, in co cooperation with young people from other countries. Uh, thanks to online activities, we were able to connect with uh, others through uh, um, EVOC program, um, uh, at the affiliates meeting and this mentorship, mentorship program. Uh, so about the program and my experience in it, uh, we wanted to contribute to networking and capacity building between different chapters and user groups. As a Wikimedia chapter that has a developed uh, education program, it was a logical step for us to apply and participate in the first mentorship program. Uh, it was really encouraging that it was an easy and simple process to apply for participating. Our initiative started from the first from, from the fact that it is. Um, uh, really necessary to encourage uh, educational representatives for greater visibility and exchange of experiences. Uh, we were using this as an opportunity to make the Adwiki network stronger. Um, we wanted to explore collaboration opportunities and to identify common practice, practices or challenges that are faced by our community members. Uh, I think uh, the project is uh, uh, really an effective way for building relationships. Um, the program allows uh, you uh, to access uh, the opportunities you might not be able to find uh, on your own, especially in the means of uh, connecting with other people. Uh, Ruby and Anthony uh, are two mentees I had the opportunity to work with. Um, they delighted me with their enthusiasm and desire to learn. Uh, at the very beginning, we organized the first meetings where we met and made a plan that uh, we will work on. Uh, I had, um, a, let's say, kind of a supportive collaboration with uh, Ruby from meeting to meeting. And uh, while I started planning activities with Anthony from the very beginning, uh, in the end, we realized uh, we we planned one uh, workshop, um, and we also plan to continue our joint cooperation by organizing an editathon together later this year. Um, 
a little bit about future plans. Um, when we talk about these kind of activities, I always have uh, the uh, stadium wave on my mind. Um, please, for the moment, imagine the stadium wave of a spontaneous group uh, behavior in which people sitting in sporting arenas uh, rise and cheer in a pattern that uh, resembles a traveling wave. Um, uh, the, phenom the phenomena goes by several names, mostly common Laola or the Mexican wave, and it is uh, easy to see how wave keeps going once it was begun, but how do you get one of these things started in the first place uh, is actually my question. Uh, even several people working together may uh, fail to set one off, uh, so when, uh, when a wave does uh, happen, um, how did everyone suddenly come into agreement that this is happening and what is the spark that starts um, this fire. Uh, once it's going, the dynamics that uh, drive it are fairly straightforward. So each individual in the stadium is essentially following the, uh, the simple um, principle, copy your uh, inmate uh, neighbor. Uh, if your neighbor stands and cheers, you do the same. So when we talk about the mentoring, programs, I think we should be guided by this principle. In uh, relation to this principle, the Wikimedia movement is actually at uh, an uh, advantage because the real stadium wave uh, does not begin with an organized cooperation of the people. So when you consider that uh, effects, this continuous act can have, it's clear that large groups of trained people can perform even more impressive uh, it's a group coordination. So I, I imagine the mentor program uh, exactly like that and the meetings between mentors and mentees is one of the drivers that will uh, actually give direction uh, to the spark. So thank you for your attention. Thank you. That was super inspiring. It's um, great to see all of the the work that you guys are doing and um, and lot we're using lots of different audiences for education. So I, I always enjoy hearing uh, about your programs. Are there any questions? I guess I'll ask a question then. Um, you said that the numbers had dropped a little bit um, due to the COVID pandemic. Are you sort of seeing them come back up now or sort of how are, how are you feeling? You know, how are the numbers looking um, now into the future? I feel, um, yeah, I feel optimistic definitely because a uh, um, few weeks ago, I um, did um, our uh, annual report for the last year, so uh, the numbers are definitely increasing again. So it's really great. <laughs> that's that's great. Yeah, and it, it was nice to hear of all of your collaborations with um, other Wikimedia entities, especially in the CEE region, but sort of broader overall too. And um, and um, it looks like Silesh just joined here. So um, your, your yeah. shout out to the um, yeah, we community have a really is, strong connection. Is, um, <laughs> is also really great as well. Thank you. Um, are there any other suggestions you would have kind of about the mentorship program of encouraging people in the meeting who didn't participate this time around um, who might want to join in the future? Any thoughts that you have about that? Um, both for us as organizers or uh, for other uh, listeners as potential participants. Yeah, um, I would say that um, personally for uh, me, it was uh, sometimes difficult to organize the meeting because of the time uh, zone. So uh, that's one thing. And uh, uh, actually, I really don't have this moment some suggestions. Um, I don't know, I, I really like the, the way you left the free structure of, of what are we going to do, because uh, we all have different needs and uh, uh, that's something I really like. Uh, but I would definitely think about some uh, suggestions and uh, maybe I can uh, let you know by email or something. Great. Any other questions?
Okay, hearing none, I am going to attempt to uh, play Anthony's video. So bear with me here as uh, as I share this and uh, let me know in the chat if you cannot hear this. Hello everyone, this is Anthony Diaz from the Philippines. I am one of the founding members of the Wiki Advocates Philippines and also I am a network organizer of the art and feminism. Today I will be discussing the Wikipedia and Education Philippine experience and my experience on the mentorship program. So first let me just share my screen. Hello again, I am Anthony from the Philippines and I will do my best to give you a brief overview on how Wikipedia is perceived here in the Philippines. What are the challenges we face, how we overcome these challenges during the pandemic and what we are looking forward to after this pandemic. To, to provide a brief background, Wikipedia was the sole wiki project popular with the most Filipinos. It was mostly because of copy-pasted research projects of students or of vandalizing articles and making it into a meme. Never was it mentioned as a free online resource that can actually be utilized by teachers and students in a helpful means. Even before pandemic, Wikimedians and open resource advocates have already been faced with the same challenges that I think most of us are experiencing. Like, for example, being stereotyped as unreliable. Most educators believe that Wikipedia is an unreliable source because anyone can modify it. Here in the Philippines, it is almost considered a mortal sin to rely on the Wikipedia articles, especially in research processes. Another challenge is that the Ministry of Education itself, they does not advocate the use of Wikipedia. Students and teachers using it are being ostracized. There is also a scarcity of materials that can be used to introduce Wikipedia. Most of the information available on Wikipedia about itself still need to be collected and contextualized to better suit the new editors. Some of us don't even know that such pages exist. There is also a huge language gaps in the localized versions of Wikipedia. Even though some of us are native speakers, we still find it difficult to entirely grasp the interface of our local Wikipedia. Some of the terms used were uncommon even to the native speakers. Mostly proves to be archaic and technical terms were translated verbatim. So this challenge hinders sustainability of any wiki projects in the country. During the pandemic, the educational system in the Philippines has taken a total shift from a face-to-face -face setup to a modular method and in some online lecture. Not all students have the means to participate in an online class, especially in rural and coastal areas where data connections are almost below normal capacity. Teachers, on the other hand, needed to devise specific techniques and learning modalities in order to cater to their students' needs. So as part of our effort to promote and emphasize the different Wikimedia-based projects as free resources for remote learning in the Philippines, we decided to organize the learning group EduWiki Community Philippines 
So the name Eduwiki is patterned after the Eduwiki project of the Wikimedia Education team, which advocates and challenges the traditional definition of education. This is because we do believe in changing by the way. During the establishment of this group, we primarily hope to provide an avenue for communicating a series of webinars on using the different open access tools that can be used by teachers. Part of the aim of this project is to equip teachers with free online teaching and learning resources through the use of Wikimedia-based projects to give emphasis on the use of the Philippine language Wikipedia, such as the Bicol Central, Cebuano, and Tagalog, and provide an overview, overview about the Wikimedia projects. Uh, we didn't expect that later on this project will also touch such subjects, uh, gender gap, feminism, knowledge equity, and inter-community region partnerships. Besides our purpose to provide a platform for learning and among teachers, we were also able to build linkages from volunteers to the Department of Education officials. We were able to build a community composed of the local organizers and experienced editors. We were also able to gather gender and language advocates, teachers, and people from Glam institutions. We were able to work with public schools in the region, helping and looking for ways to enhance the current educational system. Utilization of wiki projects for lesson plans and assignments, and also opportunities for teachers in the Wikimedia movement, alongside with the ongoing pilot program of reading Wikipedia in the classroom project in Pasay during 2020. So we were able to network with our teachers through the in-service training required by the Department of Education. Filipino volunteers were able to impart their knowledge and expertise in various wiki projects. All throughout the program, we were able to partner with seven secondary schools in training their teachers about using Wikipedia as an effective open educational resource. More than 140 teachers, both online and in person, have attended the trainings and orientations. Uh, so, so, topics covered were Creative Commons and OERs, using Wikipedia in bridging gender gap, other Wikimedia based projects, using Wikipedia in education, and lastly, offline Wikipedia installation. In the third quarter of 2021, we were able to release printed and digital copies of the Reading Wikipedia modules. These were distributed to eight secondary schools, providing the scope of inviting teachers to join the Reading Wikipedia in the classroom training of trainers. And we are very fortunate that two teachers coming from our community were chosen to be part of this training in our group. We have two certified trainers, Emelda Brazal and Joyce de Guzman. Also, from September to November this year, I have undergone mentorship with the Education Program Manager from Wikimedia Serbia and under the mentorship program of Wikipedia and Education User Group. So during this program, we were able to devise a training for more than 30 to teachers covering topics on how to edit Wikipedia and how to use Wiki projects in education. As a team of volunteers, we were lucky to survive this pandemic while also being able to continue working on our passions to improve Wikipedia in education. We had the opportunity to transcend our challenges to strengths. We were able to find solutions on how we will navigate the Philippine educational ecosystem to further promote Wikipedia and its sister projects. From being stereotyped as an unreliable source, we now try to teach the verifiable content of Wikipedia and how one can evaluate content and improve gaps within an article. The virtual 
teaching and learning environment provided an avenue for the education system to give into the open, free, and accessible educational resources. And in our case, one of the best one that we have is Wikipedia. Also, with the advent of the reading Wikipedia in the classroom pilot project, complete and concise modules on how to explore Wikipedia has been developed and contextualized in Filipino, making it easier for the volunteers to understand the entire Wikipedia ecosystem, which makes sharing and learning more involved. We also find out that utilizing the content translation tool resolves the contribution problem brought about by the language localization in our Wikipedia. Also, uh, we are slowly transitioning the local text into a more understandable local language using the Translate Wiki software. Another solution we discovered is that partnerships between foreign and local organizers were seen as strong evidence that indeed the wiki projects can also be localized and shared even by Filipinos. The transition of meetups to virtual setting made us able to communicate to other organizers and Wikimedians across the globe. Within our network, we deem it necessary to observe resource sharing, especially on using devices in editathons and training. If it's possible to cater a large number of participants, usually let them use their phones instead of make them do and instead uh, we make them do simple edits like inserting images, tagging of pictures in commas and other micro edits. So the point of this is to engage them even in the simplest way in the wiki platform. From these experiences, we are imagining a wider scope of activities of serving diversity, equity, and inclusion. So our network of volunteers believe that we can do more in our own capacity as language advocates and educators. For now, we are brainstorming on the following projects that we wish to paint to instead attend the Wikipedia and education in the Philippines. First is the local learning hub. So this is an idea similar to having a local library or partnering with established organizations to host printed learning materials that are made available using the Wiki projects. There will also be an available device for those who will be willing to do volunteer editing and want to learn more about the entirety of the Wiki project. Second is the open access learning portal. This is an idea of creating a network or a server where it, where it can host the offline Wikipedia and other open access educational resources, especially those published in our local language. So we hope to install the servers to far flung areas where the data connections are below average functionality. For the education community, we are hoping to build wiki corners in schools and in libraries. So this is an idea of putting up a desktop computer wherein it contains wiki projects that can be of use to students and teachers even with the absence of an internet connection. And lastly, for our Wikipedia volunteers and advocates, we are looking forward to establishing a bigger network of EdWiki volunteers with firmer foundations and principles within the different communities in the country and also be able to implement at the Wiki Volunteers Exchange. This is an idea of having two volunteers from different regions, having to immerse in different groups of volunteers and be able to share and learn the best practices from each community. And lastly, uh, about the mentorship program, uh, the Wikipedia and Education User Group mentorship was piloted last September 2021. Uh, Nibosha, uh, the Education Program Manager of Wikimedia Serbia, have partnered with me. So the two of us have collaboratively designed an activity that will engage prospective editors coming from the education sector 
and share with them the aspects of wiki projects that can be incorporated in their teaching methods. Tony played the part of being the mentor and guided me in crafting the program specifically on areas of wiki projects that can be of use by the teachers. A presentation and training on Wikipedia editing and how to use wiki projects for education was the final outcome of our collaboration. This was included during the Brigada Pagbasa Orientation Program of the 1F Trivenium Memorial High School. Last November, November 4, 2021 and was attended by a total of 30 participants. Brigada Pagbasa is a readership program of the Department of Education, Department of Education Philippines that seeks to improve the, the literacy skills of the students. So we have taken this opportunity to share a back, backgrounder on Wikipedia, as it is also one of the online resources the students and teachers utilize every time they need information online. Wikipedia core topics, verify, verifiability of information, wiki projects, and how to create user accounts in Wikipedia were the main points discussed during the training. Uh, participants were given Wikipedia stickers and pens as souvenirs, and they also received a certificate uh, signed by me and Debosha. At the open forum, uh, teachers and students shared that they are now more comfortable in using Wikipedia in their lessons and homeworks. And they also plan to continue contributing new articles in the future. So again, I am Anthony B. Diaz. Uh, thanks for listening uh, my experience. And also, if you are interested in supporting our group, uh, you may visit our meta page or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you very much. Okay, well, thank you very much to Anthony for pre recording that video. Um, and giving us all the opportunity to, um, to hear their experiences and their work. And it sounds like uh, that mentorship uh, pair worked very well um, and, and had great outcomes for, for both community groups. Um, although Anthony is not here, if there are any questions that anyone has about the presentation he did, I'd be happy to pass them on to him. Looks like we have a question in chat, in chat for Nabosha. Are you still here? Yes, I'm here. There's a question in chat. Are there any tips from Wikimedia Serbia to get close to the academic environment, such as university and school? Because it's kind of a big hurdle for us in Indonesia. One of the hurdles is Wikipedia has become a kind of taboo word word in university because of its stereotype for being unreliable information for a long time. Well, um, when I start uh, negotiations with the um, university staff and professors, I always like to highlight that our not primary that our primary goal is not to uh, make Wikipedia how to say in English, like the main source uh, of information in terms of uh, the way you can learn from Wikipedia. Uh, well, we always uh, highlight uh, that Wikipedia should be used as a teaching tool just to um, improve students' uh, skills in terms of um, um, literature review, um, encyclopedic uh, way of writing uh, and um, I don't know maybe about uh, uh, making references and stuff like that so I always like to say that first uh, I always say that I 
uh, agree that uh, they should use Wikipedia uh, in a way to get some basic information and then to use Wikipedia as um, um, as a database for um, primary and secondary resources, actually references of certain articles. If they want to investigate more of the topic, they're interested. Um, I always uh, say that Wikipedia should be used in a way that um, um, they can learn the students about the responsibility on publishing stuff on internet because we uh, all um, live in a world where uh, we think if it is possible something to uh, publish on internet, uh, then we should all do it. Um, without thinking about the consequences of that. So um, students are not aware of that. Uh, they think if we have opportunity, we should all uh, take it and uh, publish anything we want. Actually, Wikipedia can teach us that um, we have some rights, but we also have responsibilities because other people is going to read uh, uh, those texts or articles if we are talking comes to Wikipedia. So uh, I think those are really good points if you uh, want to negotiate with the uh, universities and professors. Great tips, thank you. Any other questions? Hi, this is Thais. I'm sorry my camera is not working, but thank you for the presentations. I don't know if I missed, but where, how do you keep track of the range of activities? It, it, do you have like one, you created one page or something like a project? Um, or you go by separate individual activities? Also, question for me. Okay, so um, I really like to use dashboard tool. Uh, it uh, really gives me um, a good, uh, let's say, um, um, overview of um, the, uh, all the uh, all, all the editors or students uh, involved in the projects. Uh, I always make campaigns for the certain period of time and uh, within those campaigns I organize programs for each uh, group of students and uh, I really I would really like to 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 um, say that it's an excellent tool uh, for this kind of activities so um, if you don't use dashboard uh, maybe you can I don't know send me an email or uh, I can show you how to do that because um, I'm also administrator admin of the dashboard so i uh, also made um, guidelines for our community how to use it because i think it's um, really good uh, no I, I use the dashboards I, I love them both the wiki the U, and the outreach but we are starting a, a program in brazil where several universities will join and i'm thinking whether you know would be nice to have a common landing place, landing place so everybody's aware of what the other groups are doing. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm okay. not sure. Maybe we'll go to for a project, or I, I don't know. I have to, uh, we have we to also have. have uh, mm -hmm. Sorry for that. No, that's it. Okay, so uh, we also made a um, uh, page on uh, Wikipedia. Uh, dedicated to uh, all our programs and projects and uh, for uh, each article students uh, make during the program we have the template we put on at the beginning of the article so i have a list of those all, all those articles on the wikipedia page and they can follow um, that way our work as well so um, it helps Okay, and uh, if I, if you can give me a minute, because I would also like to share the newsletter article uh, of the mentor, uh, mentorship program. Um, so um, I uh, also think that um, doing uh, 
writing those newsletters. Uh, newsletters is a really good way to share our knowledge with others and learn from others as well. So uh, here in chat, you can find the link, uh, especially for this mentorship. Yeah, and that's another great reminder that the education newsletter is a good opportunity to share uh, what you're doing globally with, um, with the other members of the education community as well. Any other questions? All right, I'm not hearing any, so we can wrap up the meeting. Um, I will close by just saying thank you so much um, for your great questions and, uh, and attention today. We're always happy to see activity and people interested in, um, in education programs globally. We are also always looking for um, guest speakers for our next open meeting. And if you have a program that you're running and you wanna uh, do a presentation like our two wonderful guest speakers did today, um, it's also open to do a video recording, obviously as Anthony did. Um, please feel free to reach out to any of us on the board of the user group. Um, of those of us who are here today, that's uh, me, Philip, Zico, and Joao was here, but he had to jump off to another call. Um, so any of us, as well as Susanna from Armenia, um, I will put my email address uh, in the chat if, if you want to reach out to me, but we're always looking for people to uh, give short presentations about the work that they've been doing and, um, and share what you've got going on in your country and your programs. Okay, and with that, I will officially wrap up the meeting and stop the recording. <laughs>